That's pushing back disease. That's increasing our health span. And that should be the focus of what we're doing in medicine now. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. George Papanicolaou, a renowned expert in functional and integrative medicine. He focuses on living healthy at the cellular level, which results in anti-aging. Dr. Papanicolaou brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to the table, focusing on optimizing human health through a holistic approach. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of cellular health. In this enlightening video, Dr. Papanicolaou will explore the intricate interplay between apoptosis, zombie cells, and inflammation, key factors influencing our overall well-being. He'll also talk about the importance of developing immune resilience. Discover how polyphenols, powerful compounds found in plants, can support cellular health and potentially combat chronic diseases. Dr. Papanicolaou will identify three natural sources which can limit zombie or senescent cells. Get ready to be amazed as Dr. Papanicolaou sheds light on the latest scientific discoveries and practical strategies for optimizing your health from the cellular level up. Let's listen to Dr. Papanicolaou talk more about health span. Now you can you can you know consider the idea of optimal wellness and, and being your best self and having the greatest health span to really be something that you should be addressing your entire life. But when it really comes to where disease is causing the most damage, where we're seeing the most morbidity or reduction in performance, it's in that zone from 65 to 80. And that's the red zone. So the goal of medicine should now be really focusing on how do we shorten that? Of course, if you spoke to a room full of people and you said, okay, everybody, who here wants to live to be 100 years old? You don't see a lot of hands go up right away because most people start thinking, ah, you know, I'm gonna be 100 years old and I'm gonna be in a nursing home and, some, you know, and, and somebody's gonna be feeding me. I'm not gonna have a great quality of life. I don't think I'm in for that. But if you say, who wants to live to be 100 years old and you'll only be sick for a week or a day? Well, then I think everybody's going to raise their hands. Sure, everyone wants to live longer if they are healthy. Tell us more about senescent cells. Senescent cells can be any cells. We have different types of cells in our body. We have immune cells, for example. So when immune cells do their job, they rush to a scene of the accident in your body or where there's a foreign invader, and they mop up the mess, clean everything up. But when they're done they die, most of them. Some of them don't die and they become senescent cells. And these senescent cells begin to impact the immune system. And it's believed that senescent cells and their multiplication in the immune system lead to immune suppression or immune dysregulation that makes people as they age much more susceptible to infectious diseases. Dr. Pap Nicolau, Tell us more about these zombie or senescent cells. Talk about aging, or when I talk about aging with my patients, I, I can't help but talk about something called zombie cells. But before we talk about zombie cells, let's talk about something else, something called apoptosis. Apoptosis is basically programmed suicide of cells in our body. When cells get to a certain point where they've outlived their function, they have a suicide program that says, okay, time's up, you need to go. And they die, and they're taken out of the system. Zombie cells are also known as senescent cells. I like to call them zombie cells. That's a lot cooler. The senescent cells, they have damaged DNA. It's damaged by inflammation and oxidation, and they end up in this condition of suspended animation where they're not completely functioning, but they are functioning enough to actually release compounds that will make a toxic environment around them, will actually impact other cells with oxidative stress, inflammation, damage those cells, and worse yet, program them to be zombie or senescent cells. And this process goes on and on and on. And if we took care of every other disease, and we didn't address senescent cells, that process alone would lead to our death. And that's aging. 
So where else in the body do we find these senescent cells? Senescent cells can also be found in joints. So if you have an accumulation of these zombie cells, these cells suspended in animation, then they can't lubricate the joint. They can't protect it and they can't regenerate like chondrocytes in a joint will. And you will have more inflammation in your joints and that will lead to disability. What impacts can senescent cells have? How do they affect aging? Senescent cells also can impact mitochondrial function in other cells around them. And mitochondria are those powerhouses that play a very big role in how you function every day and how you age. When your mitochondria aren't functioning appropriately, that actually leads to cell death. It actually can lead to more senescent cells. And that's one of the mechanisms by which senescent cells are able to affect the cells around them and put them in suspended animation. What's the latest research on senescent cells? The good news is, is that there's, there's lots of research being done on how to eliminate senescent cells. And we don't have to go far into our, our nutritional armamentarium to find something that works. What kind of natural remedies can we use to combat these zombie cells? Polyphenols, or, or resveratrol, has been shown to actually eliminate senescent cells. Where do you get polyphenols? Well, one of the favorite places people like to get polyphenols is in a glass of red wine. Are there any other natural solutions available? There are compounds that can help remove senescent cells. One of them is a polyphenol called fisetin. Fisetin can be found in strawberries and seaweeds, and it's formulated as a supplement. It's actually a potent antioxidant and can support brain health as well. So it might be worth taking. Fistin, okay. Can you give us a third natural remedy? And finally, there's a compound that comes from the red pepper called piperlongamine. Piperlongamine, it's also been researched and studied and found to be able to limit senescent cells and may extend lifespan. So if you like red peppers, hot peppers, that's a place to go. What are some other impacts of senescent cells? When we're talking about aging and understanding how senescent cells can impact the immune system, it's interesting to think of that in context of health span and what I had mentioned before about as we age, we become more frail. Well, part of that reason is because of senescent cells. They're, they're actually destroying some of the really important systems in our body. And so as we do age, our immune systems get weaker. So is there anything we can do about our immune system getting weaker? And in the case of COVID, we have a amplified cytokine response that results in is almost the final pathway to, to death in patients. And that's because their immune systems are not strong. Their immune systems are in some way broken. So when we think about health, now I think from now on, we're gonna start thinking about what do I need to do to improve, improve my immune system? How can we improve our immune system and lifestyle? But it's very hard to in our current lifestyles where people struggle with sleep, people struggle with stress, people struggle with eating the right foods, they're getting way too many sugars in their diet, processed carbohydrates, they're getting toxins in the air, they're getting toxins in their food, they're getting uh, toxins in their cosmetics and clothing. You're gonna hear that refrain a lot uh, during this, you know, as we, as we speak um, about health because those are the elements that are eroding our health. And every one of those things I just mentioned dysregulate the immune system. They, they amp it up, causing autoimmunity, so that you're actually going to start creating antibodies against self. They're going, to, they're going to depress it so that you can't respond appropriately to infections that will invade you. Anything else? And so the question is, if the immune system is just going to get weaker as we get older, well, why are the immune systems of younger people being impacted? And are there other reasons why they might be dying from COVID? And there probably are. But we do find that they, they are also having an abnormal immune response that creates a cascade of events that leads to other physiologic issues that might lead to the demise. 
but it's the immune system that's the real key here. Immune resilience is something that we all should develop. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands, it's just one bite away.